Yes, welcome everyone. This is Adam Fardo from FontLab. Welcome to this FontLab 7 video. At first, I want to show you fontlab.com slash 7 website. You can download a free trial. Um, if you click the try free, you can download for Mac OS or for Windows. There are two different Windows versions. If you have 64-bit Windows, which most people have these days, please download the 64-bit version, and they work on pretty much all systems. Well, for Windows, starting from Windows 7, and for Mac OS, starting with Mac OS 10, 12. When you download uh, FontLab and install it, the 30-day trial version works, you know, is fully capable, so you can download it and test it, and maybe, you know, even make your first font uh, within that month. Then there's help.fontlab.com, which has documentation. Click on online help, user manual. So the user manual is kind of split into two parts. The structure you can follow is one thing, but then the other thing is the release notes, a uh, long list of improvements in different versions of FontLab. So some of the new features that we've put in or some of the improvements are still only in the release notes. Now there's one more thing. One, if you go to fontlab.tv, that's a redirect to our YouTube channel. We have playlists and there's a lot of playlists, playlists about typography, type design, talks that are on YouTube, about 500 talks about type design. But we also have, of course, the specific FontLab 7 playlists. Three important ones. So one are tutorials by Dave Lawrence, who is a type designer with the California Type Foundry. Uh, well, we have about 40 of them. And then we have two playlists, one basics. There's about 160 videos. This is ordered from like where you would start. It tries to be like a course. It has introduction videos. Uh, made by different people, by us, by Dave, by by some others. Also very short videos, some that only show functionality. Some are a bit longer and, um, you know, we talk about them in, in more detail. And the basics playlist is ordered kind of from, from the simplest starting things. And then there's the other playlist, which is the FontLab News playlist, ordered from the newest to the oldest. And then one more place uh, that I recommend visiting is uh, fontlab.com slash get go. And this is a collection of currently 99 kind of free fonts that you can either start your type design project with or use as a reference or maybe use as some playground or experimentation. Uh, so these are uh, fonts that are of different kind, of different character. So there are some Latin Cyrillic Greek fonts that are simple, uh, that are kind of decorative. There are some serifs, uh, some scripts. Um, there are some variable fonts with many axes. They they use the kind of custom names. You can take a look and read about them a bit more here. So for instance, this GG Club variant of the graduate typeface by Eduardo Tuni. We've renamed them uh, because we've also slightly modified them. And uh, in many cases, the licenses require uh, that you that if you modify a font, you change the name. There's also a number of scripts other than Latin based on the Noto project. So these you can think of kind of templates. So they have glyph names, they have open type features and some glyphs, and you can kind of use them as, as a starter. And you can download each of them as a, a zip file, which contains the VFJ, which is FontLab's own format. And there are three licenses, and this is important. Some of the fonts are licensed under CC0, uh, Creative Commons 0. That's basically equivalent to public domain. So 
those fonts, you can take them and really do everything with them. You can um, make your own variations. You can change the license. You can publish them commercially. You don't need to credit the original author. That's the most liberal license. Then there's Apache. That's also quite liberal. It requires you to mention the original copyright owner, but you can also take copyright over your changes and make any font based on that. And you can then also use a commercial license or sell the fonts that you make, which may incorporate parts of these Apache fonts. And then there is the OFL license, which is the most popular for open source fonts, like those fonts on Google fonts. This is um, an open source license that is restrictive or a so-called copyleft license, which means if you derive, copy, reuse anything out of the font that is under OFL, you must publish the result also under OFL. So it also has to be open source. And these are, of course, you know, original typefaces made by different designers sometimes in FontLab, sometimes in other tools. The get-go fonts is something like a collection of templates, you could, you could say, uh, think, or, or reference fonts. And so that, that was the, the fourth URL. So let's take a look again. So that's fontlab.com slash seven. That's where you get FontLab, the trial version, or you can purchase it. Then help.fontlab.com. And fontlab.tv, that's where you get more information. And fontlab.com slash getgo, that's where you get free um, 99 kind of template started fonts. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon in the next video.